Ah, uh, yes, more baseball fun. Problem 16, a baseball is seen to pass upward by a window 25 meters above the street with a vertical speed of 12 meters per second. If the ball was thrown from the street, A, what was its initial speed, and B, what al altitude does it reach? So in other words, what will it be its max height? So here's our baseball going by a window at 12 meters per second. Let's make our list. A is negative 9.8, height final is 25, that's where, it land that's where we see it go by. Height initial is assumed to be zero. I know some of you would argue, well, wait, you can't throw it from the ground, but let's just let that be 25 meters above the person who throws it. So height initial is zero. B final here at this point is 12 meters per second. V initial is question mark and height max is question mark. So 25 meters above the thrower. So here we go, V final squared is equal to two G change in height plus V initial squared. 2g, remember g is negative, so we're subtracting a negative, so v final squared is 12 squared, 144 plus 19.6 times 25. That's equal to v squared. Once you get that, then you just set this equation equal so that we're doing height max. We take v squared over 2g. We could write that in. Oh, I'm. Conservation of energy. Okay, E at the bottom. Equals gravitational potential energy at the top. That means one half mv squared at the bottom is equal to mgh at the top. We see M on both sides, so we can cancel those out. So V squared over two, divide both sides by G, equals H, maximum height. So that's that conservation of energy coming in handy already.